Hello and welcome to the Revenge of the Drive-In commentary track for Halloween from 1978. Happy Halloween to all listening. Um, we get the janky looking pumpkin here. It's <laughs> awesome. I love how it's like not a great jack-o'-lantern. I know. But that's I... perfect. I mean, it looks like it's been produced by a kid or something. Well, that's, exactly, yeah. It's fine. But on Netflix in, in this year... There was a Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot. Really? It is utterly atrocious. It came out <laughs> in like February or March or something. It's awful. But they tried to do the exact same thing as Halloween 2018. And they, they tried to bring back Sally Hardesty, the surviving girl from the first movie. They're ignoring like all the other sequels. And, well, and yeah, of course, she's like a Texas Ranger who's like this badass who's hunting for Leatherface. But the problem was that actress is dead. So they just have a different actress who, you know, looks like I would imagine the actress that played Sally Hardesty would probably look Mm -hmm. nowadays if she were alive. Like, I I don't, I'm not complaining about, like, that. But talk about, like, having no emotional connection with the character. Like, you you can't can't write that character if you're just doing a different actor. Like, you just can't. No, exactly. Halloween 2018, you know, imagine if Jamie Lee Curtis wasn't interested in coming back and they still have Laurie returning and they just cast, I don't know, Diane Lane or something. You know, it's just like, what the fuck? Like, how am I supposed to care about this? This isn't the lady. (laughs) I want to say one of the sequels, probably Halloween 4, because that's his first. Or maybe, maybe it even is in Halloween 2, but they talk about, like, how many people he's killed. And they only list, like, the teenagers. So I'm thinking, did they just never find that truck driver? (laughs) <laughs> Did literally no one ever find it? Because one of the movies, uh, the, the number that they mentioned does not line up with the number of people that he actually kills. It's like off by one. And it's, so maybe they found him, but they just never tied him to Michael Myers. Yeah, even like, oh, it was it's some, very it was some clearly, serial killer. <laughs> yeah, it was just some guy. Oh, he stabbed himself. <laughs> so, uh, listen, John Carpenter, sure. obviously my favorite movie is Big Trouble Milwaukee Bucks China. fan for whatever reason. Oh, really? Okay. I learned that this past postseason on Twitter. He, he tweeted when the Bucks lost the Celtics, like, oh, a fantastic effort by my Bucks, but the Boston Celtics. Is, and I was like, why is he a Bucks fan? What the fuck is this about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but he, he, he's, a big, he's a big basketball fan. He's a big fan of video games. That's what he kind of spends his time doing nowadays, now that he's not making movies. I guess he's still making music, though. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, like, he's a pretty cool dude, and I like his music, so... Good for him. Mm-hmm. But no, I was going to say, do you think this is the scariest movie that he's made? Or would you, because I would no, personally say that thing. It, it, 100%. <laughs> yeah, it, it, which is also the best movie he's made. This is probably, this might be a second best, might not be. I know you're a Big Trouble in Little China fan. Yeah. I would prefer this to Big Trouble in Little China. I'm not huge on They Live. A lot of people love They Live. Yeah, I think this is probably a second best movie. I guess it's the second scariest too. I think the thing is, outstanding and the thing has that constant like dread building up which it the thing has some of the best jump scares in movie history by the way it has two of them it has the one where he's like testing the blood mm-hmm. and then also the uh which come to think of it this is actually featured in halloween ends but the whole defibrillator scene when the stomach opens up and bites that guy's hands off well see i was going to talk about the dog as well but speaking of dogs <laughs> Yes, this is the the famous <laughs> famous dead dog scene. Um, Shot. <laughs> yeah, dude, we should be we should be doing this. <laughs> we should be having a drinking game. With yeah, this but next time when we do a commentary track for Halloween two, and, and you know, as we as we get further down, you know, next Halloween when we continue to do this series or whatever. But yeah, so I'm trying to think of what all the shots. Dead dog. Michael Myers slowly walking across the street to a house. <laughs> and like shot from behind you know what i mean like that's yeah i think the bigger one is is michael myers as they are looking and then there's a cutaway and then then he's not that is <laughs> i guarantee that's in every movie yeah that's a good one <laughs> um, michael myers picks up a knife from somebody's home or countertop somewhere 